Hi guys, so customers have asked me how to create a custom SQL report, basically what we call, what Yellowfin calls a freehand SQL report or a report based on some arbitrary chunk of SQL. Uh, and so in order to do that, you have to do a couple of things. First, you have to enable uh, the ability to do freehand SQL reports and pick what kind of report you have, and that will allow you to do um, what is called um, advanced authoring, which lets you pick other things than the data model. Now you have to be careful with this for a variety of reasons, not least of which if you do um, a really, really ugly piece of SQL, you could either damage your database or you could run a, um, uh, you could run a report that consumes a lot of resources. So we're going to assume that if you're looking to do this, you know what you're doing and you know that uh, custom SQL should only be used for read-only activities. So you're going to need to start by logging in. Uh, if you were to do a fresh install of TrueSight Smart Reporting for Server Automation version 2002, this account will be called uh, TSR Admin, uh, just like this. Uh, but in my environment, it's actually called the Admin Account, which is Admin. And there's a particular password for that. If you need that password, go ahead and... Uh, call security or call support and they will hook you up. So you need to go into the admin console, which is up here. And then when you go into the component, instead of going into TrueSight Automation Data Warehouse, you're gonna go into the default component. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to have access to um, some of the permissions underlying this part reporting platform. So you hit the drop down on the left side, you see administration, and you'll know you're in the right component if there's a bunch of stuff down here. Uh, so we're going to go into the admin console and we're going to come down to roles and we're going to scroll down and find the true site manage reports, which is, um, one of the broader roles within server automation. And all you need to do is when you scroll down on the permissions to the left, uh, when we go build a freehand report, we're going to do it in the component that's called the report builder. Expand this down, you need to be able to create report types, and you also need to do freehand SQL fields. So you check those two things and go save your work, which I assume is up here. There we go, save. And when you do that, you can then log out and log in again. Ah, yes. And you can come in with basically any role that I sometimes will use global report admins. And now when I want to go create a custom report, which I do using this big green plus button over here, come in to create a custom report. And note that I now have the advanced authoring button at the top right. If I hit that, tell it I want to do a freehand SQL. Tell it I want to use the TSSA DW data source. And basically I can do... Now obviously your, uh, your report is probably going to have um, something much more complicated than that. Um, I'm going to assume that you know what you're doing here. You go validate this. Uh, SQL is valid. Uh, and one thing we can do is we can go look for the server table uh, and it'll show us the list of tables on the left side. See that it's thinking up here. Um, D underscore server, D as in dimension, uh, is a common place for us to start with things. Um, and you can go see all of the, um, uh, all of the fields there order by, and my favorite field is probably the device name. So order by name will give us a nice basic report and save. And that now gives us a table. And we can watch that table, see what it uh, looks like. And so you can see there's a lot of data on here. Um, uh, and that's a great example. You know, obviously, uh, for a production report, I would probably pu polish this up a little more. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and publish this, and I'm going to call this uh, custom 
SQL inventory report. And that is in the inventory space. It is a public report, which means other people can use it. Hit save. And now when I go into the, go into browse reports, and we'll see that in my list of reports. And custom, 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 custom SQL inventory report. And if I want to go uh, make that a favorite, I can add that to my favorites. <clears throat> and open it. And that will go run the report. And now I can see my custom report. Now, obviously, you may have much more complicated reports than this, much more complicated data, things that you want to uh, put into your tables, but it's basically just that easy. All right, great. Thanks.